hummingbirds to fly by Sitting peacefully in the morning light Asking nothing in return She's waiting for the hummingbirds to fly by With the most beautiful smile I'm around her, I feel safe There's a magic river flowing in the gates She gives me real love all the time She gives me real love, it's all that matters now She gives me real love Waiting for the hummingbirds to fly by Poisoning talks, let them go now Fall out of music Forget about those people Try to bring you down Trying to bring you down Just follow the music Follow the music Just waiting for the hummingbirds to fly by Sitting peacefully in the morning light Asking nothing in return Just waiting for the hummingbirds to fly by This whole such a beautiful spot Dan, do you take Rianne to be your wife? Do you promise to be loving, loyal and faithful to her for the rest of your lives together? I do. And Rianne, do you take Dan to be your husband? Do you promise to be loving, loyal and faithful to him for the rest of your lives together? I do. I, Daniel David Middleton, take you, Rianne Elizabeth Hall, to be my wedded wife. From this day forward, I promise to love and honour you, to encourage and support you, to share all things in life with you, and, take, and, and to, never, to never take for granted the happiness you bring me. These promises I make to you for the rest of our lives together.
Ja? Ja. ja. Ik vind het gaaf. Ja, dank je. So now, would you like to repeat me? I, Rianne Elizabeth Hall. I, Rianne Elizabeth Hall, take you, Daniel David Middleton, to be my wedded husband. I promise to love and honour you, to encourage and support you, to share all things in life with you, and to never take for granted the happiness you bring me. You've done it. These promises I make to you. Oh. These promises I make to you for the rest of our lives together. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I think they deserve a round of applause. <laughs> I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage and as a pledge of my love, friendship and commitment today and always. <laughs> Thank you. I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage and as a pledge of my love, friendship and commitment today and always. You have made your marriage vows to each other in the presence of your witnesses, family and friends all gathered here today. It gives me very great pleasure to now announce that you are husband and wife. <laughs> Congratulations. Would you like to kiss your bride? Me and Rianne met back in 2013. I knew that there was something special and different about Rianne that I loved. Behind her beautiful eyes and a smile, I discovered things like a fluffy hamburger CD case in her car, <laughs> a tomato shower cap and her love for sloths. This was somebody that doesn't take themselves too seriously and likes to have fun. Since then, we have traveled far and wide, watched many episodes of Hell's Kitchen together and continue to love and support each other even when times are tough. When I tell people about Rianne, I'm a proud man and now a proud husband. You truly deserve the best in life and I hope I can contribute to that in some way. Did you know that as luck would have it, there's a new moon tonight, which throughout the ages has symbolized new beginnings. So how lovely is that on the day of a wedding? Nice one, moon. <laughs> it's lovely to see you all here today to celebrate the most important day in Rianne and Dan's life. So far, apart from when they got their puppy, Buddy. Dan and Rianne lived with us for over a year <laughs> while, while they were saving up for a deposit for their house in Framlingham and never a problem. <laughs> Dan's a thoroughly likeable person and he, and, he, and he fitted right in and it was a pleasure to have around. He makes a decent cup of tea and he's been known to empty the dishwasher as well, unlike somebody who never did. And only yesterday she came up with a fantastic idea, very clever, for a communications device to use between tables in these strange times. And here it is. <laughs> Well done, Rianne, <laughs> and uh, we can use that later on. And if nothing else, we can tie it onto the back of the car as they leave later. Well, Rianne, here we are. We did it. You have officially married the man who you say sounds like a dishwasher when he eats. <laughs> The man that cannot keep any purchase beyond its 30 day refund policy before changing his mind about actually wanting it. <laughs> and the man that possibly has the largest unread book collection in Suffolk. I never thought I'd see the day middle of uh, get married. As uh, Rian, I'm sorry to say, you weren't actually his first love. It was actually his PlayStation where he'd spend many hours alone in his room playing games, or at least that's what Dan told us he was doing. <laughs> and you, you've got your PlayStation as a bit of a contender, I think, during his marriage, Rio. Anyway, everyone may or may not know that Middleton could be a bit of a warrior. 
And he asked me to check the pulse today before the wedding. <laughs> Which made me think at the time when I had a bad bike accident at Crystal Palace. Luckily I was with Middleton at the time and he rushed over to me while I was knocked out on the floor. He told me when I woke up he checked my pulse to see if I was alive. Before checking mine he made sure to check his own first. <laughs> So my next thought was, thank God he didn't give me the kiss alive, because today, if he had it, I could be sitting where we are now. <laughs> when Rianne was young and we were on holiday, we sent her off to get a couple of spoons. A few minutes passed and she returns, not with spoons, but with a question. How many is a couple? <laughs> well, we've laughed about that over the years, and I mention it today because there's a new couple, a married couple. Yeah. <laughs> Good, <isn't it? laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, it's my very great pleasure to propose the first taste. First taste, so please raise your glasses to the bride and groom, Rianne and Dan. Here's to a long and wonderful life together. Rianne and Dan. Rianne and Dan. Rianne and Dan.